Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to those of you who are new. Thank you so much for clicking on to this week's video. For today's video, what I'm going to be sharing with you is the next 30 days for the next 90 days healthy hair challenge. We want healthy hair and we want to grow our hair long, let's be real. But we want it to be healthy, okay? So if you're interested in getting involved in the next 30 days of the 90 days of the healthy hair challenge, just stick around. So let's just get straight onto this. We're doing the challenge. It's gonna be for 90 days. It's gonna be split in three different ways. Month one, month two, and month three. It's nothing more than just being consistent. That's all it is. There's no, there's, there's no magic in it. There's, there's no magic. Just being consistent with the right moisturizing products and your hair will grow. Okay, so first things first, we are going to be incorporating rice water. So those of you who are low porosity, and can't stand using rice water, listen, add things, subtract things to what is okay for your hair. Putting that out there now, because you know my disclaimers, if you've been watching me long enough, you know I don't do this thing, okay? I'm not a hair beautician or beaut technician or tunician. I'm neither a hair guru. I just like doing my own hair. I mean no harm, but you know, sometimes you, 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 you people, you, 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 you write in and tell me what are you talking about. So any of these tips, any of these challenges, if it doesn't work for you, then just change it. So I'm going to be introducing this uh, new little concoction that I tried out for two days. I thought, hmm, it's kind of nice. My hair feels good. I'm going to be showing you what, how I put it together, but, oh, we are not doing sponsorship here, okay? Sorry. Black rice. I need to tell you a little bit about black rice because, listen, we know everything there is to know about rice water. So if you didn't know already, let me educate you, okay? Uh, <laughs> actually, let Google educate you. So what I do know that black rice or a purple, dark purple shade of black rice was highly treasured in ancient China. Yes, they used to call it the forbidden rice. And the reason why is because it was exclusively reserved for emperors and such like royalty. Which basically meant, you plebs, you common people, you, you cannot eat it, okay? So unbeknown to me, black rice has a high content of nutrients. It's currently cultivated in relatively small amounts and it's very, very accessible. And the other thing I just grew to know about this black rice is that it has a higher content of nutrients, antioxidants, blah, 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 than white rice. And the reason why, you might ask. And that is because white rice goes through this milling process and during this milling process, white rice is stripped of a lot of its high potential to produce a lot of nutrients, vitamins, and antioxidants. Although we still get some benefits from white rice, black rice doesn't have to go through that milling process. Mm -hmm, that's right girl, you heard me. I cannot wait to put this into my routine. Another thing I was going to mention is that it, there's an ingredient in the black rice that gives that really rich black or dark purple colour, which is in the same thing that gives the blueberry and the blackberry its colour, which, as we know, those fruits pack a big punch of antioxidants. So what I've done is I've made a leave-in conditioner with the black rice that is going to nourish my hair. So for the next 20 days, I'm going to be using this as a leave-in. So I'm going to be spraying it in my hair to refresh my hair in the morning. At night, I'm going to be spraying it into my roots and on my ends. And that is it. I'm not going to rinse it out. I'm going to continue with my normal wash day once a week and my normal con deep condition once a week. That will not change. Let me show you how I made it. So to make this strengthening leave-in conditioner, I'm going to be using one cup of the black rice. I will also be adding in neem oil because neem oil conditions the scalp, promotes healthy hair growth, uh, temporary seals hair follicles, so it controls frizz and minimizes gray and it's great for reducing dandruff. So this has to get in there. Now hemp seed oil is another one that I'm going to be adding. Hemp seed oil has omega-3, 6, and nine fatty acids in it. We're gonna be putting in some of this because fenugreek will help stimulate hair growth, trust me. Fenugreek is like uh, an Ayurvedic hair crack. It will make your hair grow. So after washing the rice as usual, I'm just going to transfer that in there. And then I'm gonna be adding three cups just to cover the rice and let it boil very, very slightly and take it off the boil. So we're going to leave it a little bit longer. It's bubbling up, starting to bubble now, but this is not the point that we take it off and sieve out the water. We just leave it a little bit longer. 
Okay, so at this point, this is where I'm going to turn it off now because I don't want it to get that cloudy kind of um, consistency. I want it to be nice and runny where the fermentation is just starting to brew. So this is the rich dark colour we're looking for. It's started to ferment and I'm about to put in the rest of the ingredients. Another reason why I wanted it warm is so that the, when I put the fenugreek powder in it would easily mix into the rice water. So in goes a teaspoon. Then I have half a cup of aloe vera juice and then I'll be putting in the same amount of hemp seed oil, neem oil of one teaspoon each and after giving it a good stir everything is mixed in nicely and now I'm ready to decanter. So I decided to only fill it halfway because quite frankly this is going to last me for the 20 days. I'll then put the rest of this into a container in the freezer and ready for the next time I want to use it. Okay so uh, this stains all right bear that in mind okay i will add also for those who have color treated hair the black rice may not be right for you because i think it will stain your hair so you might want to replace it with just the plain rice trust me you'll get great benefits still from white rice so i will also store this in the refrigerator day and night for those who are unaware <laughs> i mean so many of you see this on every single video that i have this is my Mel's Butter Me Up Cream. It is uh, a, an extreme moisturising, hydrating and strengthening hair growth cream. Um, yeah, it's lovely. It smells amazing. It's a rich butters and essential oils mixed together to give you this really lovely oil-like substance, even though it's a butter, once it gets in contact with your hands. I'm just going to be using that on my ends to seal in this um, leave-in conditioner. I sprayed this on my hands just to feel you see how deep that red was and let me tell you oh look that that feels amazing that feels really well moisturized oh I might even put my body <laughs> no actually I better not I might have like strips of red on my face <laughs> not, not a good look eh? you know guys I have struggled life when it comes to measuring my hair with a measuring tape uh, but I'm gonna be doing what so many of you do I just thought I'm just gonna give it up and use my body but because I don't care about this t-shirt anymore because it's got holes in it um, I'm just going to be measuring using these lines and I'm going to marker it and then we're going to go back at the end of this month or next month this time next month and we're going to see whether I, this moisturizing leaving conditioner um, really did a great job for my hair so let's start from the back area so this is not stretched hair but we're just going to do it anyway I'll kind of I don't want to mess up my hair style Right, so we're going to mark this. Right. Oh, look at this. See, that's the proof that this stains. <gasps> so it's fair to say that it is here. Okay, there we go. So this side. Okay. So this side is not the same. <laughs> anyway, all right, so the fringe area, I'm not gonna about to mark on my face, but we're just gonna do this, okay? I think the key things in all of this is, I mean, it's not necessarily this, or this is really gonna help. It's the consistency. It's you committing to doing a routine so your hair can be like slapped into submission to pay attention to a new routine, a new regime. And really, I'm telling you, once you get hair back into place, I tell you, your hair will start to grow. Okay, guys, that's it. That is the challenge for the next 20 days for the first month. I'm looking forward to so many of you joining me on this new hair growth challenge for the next 20 days. And for the remaining five days, I'll upload a video that can show us exactly what I'm going to be doing just to help boost the moisture and the strength of my hair. So, guys, let me know down in the comments if you're going to be joining me. Um, I need to know. I want to know how many of you are going to be joining me in this hair growth challenge. We can smash it, guys. Thank you so much if you've watched the video to this point you've hung in there I really really appreciate it I know it was a long one I look forward to reading all your comments I hang around and I answer every single one of y'all thank you so much to all of you who continue to support me with this channel my online friends the new subscribers thank you for all your conversation okay guys before I completely melt under these lights I'm going now you take care now and god bless you
Okay.